Good morning. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm now officially a booktuber. Okay, my name is Louise Walters and I am a novelist, a reader and now a publisher. I'm in, running my own indie press, Louise Walters Books. And I'm going to show you today where it all happens. I'm currently standing in my kitchen, opening the door to my office. Go, go down some steps. Look, difficult to negotiate when you've had a couple of glasses of wine, which I never do, of course. So, this is where it all happens. I'll start with my desk, pretty standard IKEA. Currently working on this book. You can see that the Dig Street Festival by Chris Walsh. Wonderful novel, it's coming out December. 2020 and look in here get all the bits and pieces I need calculator because I can't do sums stapler always sits there tape mums the kids are always taking it and they don't bring it back so this is where I store all the sort of stationery and this stuff here is very important to do. The invoices haven't yet been paid, people. And these are very important folders. Each book I bring out has its own folder, so that's Diana's. I don't think a single thought. And these be horses by Dominic, that's out in December. And so on. Roots of Corruption, that's Laura's Laura Luxo's third novel out in March next year my competition entries and so on. So that simple but organised helps me to keep on top of things. Okay, let's go to my book cabinet which is next door. That's my calendar. A little bit busy. Ooh, I don't want to look at September. Okay, so here I keep, well this is my book warehouse actually. There's me. This is my book warehouse, basically IKEA cabinet full of books that I publish. They're all in there, the signed copies in there. My latest delivery, Diana's here, looking splendid. Don't think a single thought, out on the 26th of September. Brilliant novel. So yes, this is where I work. So we'll pan around the garden. Standard garden, and this is my other desk where I do other work, so it's really handy for um, when I'm packing. It's like a packing station, there's a pa package there ready to go. Um, work in progress, I'm contacting libraries at the moment, and this is proofreading stuff for the Naseby Horses, which is currently coming towards the end of the proofreading process thank goodness it's been a long a long journey that one um, all my posters postcards storage on the shelves here various things paperwork business business stuff really bank statements all that kind of thing beautiful bunting made by my daughter when she was at school treasure that and over here and there's the steps into the kitchen. See, I wasn't lying. There's the kitchen, there's the steps. Odds and ends, packing materials really. I'm going to use up all these envelopes. And once I've used them, I'm going to go over to purely cardboard. I'm going to get cardboard, bubble wrap, that kind of thing, and ditch the plastic. Apart from anything that gets sent to me, which I'll, I'll reuse. Bits and bobs here, my one of my TBR piles. I've a lot of those around the house. I've got even more on my Kindle. And um, my own books here, Piles of a Life Between Us. If anyone wants to buy that, that would be marvellous. And in this cabinet, to the right of my desk, we have Tools of the Trade books, really, dictionaries, writing books. All that kind of thing. 
um, friends books, books that I've blurbed for, this one, which was fun, the one on the back there, saying it was a wonderful book, which it is, and various other publishing related books, and I'll save the cat, good if you take it with a pinch of salt, okay, and up here, oh, my Mrs Sinclair suitcase foreign editions, just look at those, uh, not hardbacks, yes, hardbacks, the large print, these are the large print of my self-published novels, and American Mrs. Sinclair, oh, beautiful Italian, Mrs. Sinclair suitcase, which is just lovely. So, it's all in there, everything, and more packaging boxes up on the top, which are fine, because they're just cardboard and no plastic there. So, oh, I'm going to show you this. This is me as a girl. I sat, when I was about eight, eight years old, um, I sat for a sculptor, sculptress, in Oxford every morning. My uncle would take me and I would sit very still and she would sculpt me. And she'd make two of these, one that she kept for herself and one that she gave to my parents. It's kind of Roman sort of thing you'd find in the Ash Mowview in Oxford. So yeah, very proud of that. That's me. Okay, so there we are. This is where it all happens. This is where I write, it's where I edit, it's where I ring people, it's where I basically do everything related to LWB. So I'm just gonna say, apply. No, not, it won't turn around, okay. I'll turn it around myself then, manually, here we go. Ooh. Hello, <laughs> thanks for watching, bye. I'm gonna try and do a video once a week, might be a little ambitious, um, more likely once a fortnight, just to keep everybody up to date with what's happening. So thank you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.